Welcome to English Listening and Vocabulary. Part 1 You will hear a woman phoning a friend to get information about a job agency. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hello, William. This is Amber. You said to phone if I wanted to get more information about the job agency you mentioned. Is now a good time? Uh, hi, Amber. Yes, fine. So the agency I was talking about is called Bankside. They're based in Docklands. I can tell you the address now. 497 East Side. OK, thanks. So, is there anyone in particular I should speak to there? The agent I always deal with is called Becky Jameson. Let me write that down. Becky... Jameson. J-A-M-I-E-S-O-N. Do you have her direct line? Yes, it's in my contacts somewhere. Right, here we are. 07866510333. I wouldn't call her until the afternoon if I were you. She's always really busy in the morning trying to fill last-minute vacancies. She's really helpful and friendly, so I'm sure it would be worth getting in touch with her for an informal chat. It's mainly clerical and admin jobs they deal with, isn't it? That's right. I know you're hoping to find a full-time job in the media eventually, but Becky mostly recruits temporary staff for the finance sector, which will look good on your CV and generally pays better too. Yeah, I'm just a bit worried because I don't have much office experience. I wouldn't worry. They'll probably start you as a receptionist or something like that. So what's important for that kind of job isn't so much having business skills or knowing lots of different computer systems. It's communication that really matters, so you'd be fine there and you'll pick up office skills really quickly on the job. It's not that complicated. OK, good. So how long do people generally need temporary staff for? It would be great if I could get something lasting at least a month. That shouldn't be too difficult. But you're more likely to be offered something for a week at first, which might get extended. It's unusual to be sent somewhere for just a day or two. Right. I've heard the pay isn't too bad. Better than working in a shop or a restaurant. Oh, yes, definitely. The hourly rate is about £10, 11 if you're lucky. That's pretty good. I was only expecting to get £8 or £9 an hour. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Do you want me to tell you anything about the registration process? Yes, please. I know you have to have an interview. The interview usually takes about an hour and you should arrange that about a week in advance. I suppose I should dress smartly if it's for office work. I can probably borrow a suit from Mum. Good idea. It's better to look too smart than too casual. Will I need to bring copies of my exam certificates or anything like that? No, they don't need to see those, I don't think. What about my passport? Oh, yes, they will ask to see that. OK. I wouldn't get stressed about the interview, though. It's just a chance for them to build a relationship with you so they can try and match you to a job which you'll like. So there are questions about personality that they always ask candidates, fairly basic ones, and they probably won't ask anything too difficult, like what your plans are for the future. <laughs> Hope not. Anyway, there are lots of benefits to using an agency. 
For example, the interview will be useful because they'll give you feedback on your performance so you can improve next time. And they'll have access to jobs which aren't advertised. Exactly. Most temporary jobs aren't advertised. And I expect finding a temporary job this way takes a lot less time. It's much easier than ringing up individual companies. Yes, indeed. Well, I think I've covered it. That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Support us by clicking on the like button and leaving your comments here. Thank you.